Hi guys, today we're working on a 2016 Toyota RAV4. We gotta replace a broken side mirror. This one has a side LED turn signal. Also has a side collision sensor. Not sure if this one's heated or not, but the procedure would be the same, same way of doing it. So let's get right to it. <clears throat> I have jumped ahead in this, so things come apart a lot easier than it. And you see, let's see here. So no fancy tools, just go into the wife's uh, cupboard and get a nice little plastic measuring cup. Nice part is it has that nice tapered end. Kind of bugger it up there a little bit. But uh, let's get started. So the very first thing is there's three bolts in here that hold that mirror on. So we gotta take this cover off. So we'll start that first. And again, doing this one-handed, so this might come off a little faster than I want to. But again, we're using plastic so we don't scratch the paper. See? It'll come off really easy. In any case, we just work this down here. Cover comes off. It's easier with two hands. Got one, two, three, 10 millimeter bolts. 10 millimeter bolts. So then the, the wiring here comes down in behind this cover. There's a connector right about here we'll see in just a moment. Okay, so the next cover we have to take off is here behind the door handle. As you see, it's already loose. Hopefully I can just get out my finger. But again, take, take that out. Let me see here, take that out. Simply come in here with your plastic tool. Gently pop him out. He comes out nice and easy. To expose a screw that I've already removed. Then you have this piece of trim that needs to come off. Be careful down the bottom, there's a hook that I'll show you in just a moment. Again, take your little fancy tool, gently and patiently, come in here from the top. Now I, ha I already have this one popped out a little bit because I'm trying to do this one-handed. Just kind of work your way across here, pulling it out, working across. There we go. Now working down. Down here's this hook I was talking about. <clears throat> that guy right there, he goes in right down here, so we want to make sure we don't bust him out. But everything else, just work it nice and slow. It's going to expose a screw here that I've already removed, and a screw down here that I'm going to remove. Do not replace. Do not take that screw out or that screw out. That kind of holds everything all together internally. So at this point, everything here is disconnected. We have to take this cover off. Again, take our fancy tool. Work across here, nice and slow, so we don't break anything. Pops right out. <clears throat> Try and use my knee here, so I'm just sending this thing a flying. Gently tilt this thing over, only to find there's a plug I took off. Um, it's not necessary to take this this connector off. This one's a little bit harder. You have to push that tab right here, but one-handed, I'm not going to do it. This one here already took off. It's not necessary for our, for our replacement. Now these door panels have these little push pins that are pushed in here. So wherever you can get a little grip on here, it's gonna make a horrible sound like you think you're just tearing things all apart. So get yourself a good grip on here, brace your door, give her a yank, makes a hateful sound, but she's off now, now it's nice and free. Come up here to the top, <clears throat> put your hand in the side holder and just gently lift up on the panel, nice and easy. And just left it, leave it hang down. You're only going to be here for just a moment. Let the panel hang just like so. There is our connection for all of our goodies on our side mirror. Plugs in right here. That was just a pinch and pull. Now we're ready to take that last bolt out. Again, don't forget those little clips on the side here. Take those out. Take that last bolt out. And we're ready to pop the mirror out. And then we'll just reverse the order and put her all back together. Whenever you put this door panel back on, um, you just want to set the door panel up on top here in the window ledge and then for the bottom You just want to give it a couple good palm strikes to the bottom to get those little clips hooked in the hooked in the uh, in the door frame But that's it guys. It's pretty straightforward pretty easy. Just take your time. No fancy tools You need a Phillips screwdriver You need a 10 millimeter ratchet or nut driver and then just a kitchen plastic tool here Just to take the trim off so you don't scratch your paint. All right any questions or anything, um, leave them below. Like and subscribe. Thank you much.